everybody. Welcome to CryptoTalk.News. Here's a quick crypto update and a product review. Again, we're not getting paid for this product review. This is actually a product that I found through somebody here on the YouTube channel that referred it to me, and I've been checking it out, and I want to tell you about it. If you haven't checked out the channel before, go ahead and check out some of our videos. You can go ahead and subscribe down below. Click on the bell to receive post notifications and alerts when we go live and upload new content. Don't forget, you can follow us on social media as well. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and our website, CryptoTalk.News. Thanks for checking it out. Now, what we're talking about today is Crypto Hopper. And Crypto Hopper is a trading bot that you can use to trade your cryptocurrencies for you on exchanges like Binance, Bittrex, Poloniex, and I believe there is one or two more. Currently, I'm testing it out on Bittrex. I know that you see a sea of red right here uh, as for some purchases that went through this morning. Now, some of these holds could be as long as two or three days. So, uh, And then the ones that are longer with the 17 hours, those were actual, actually uh, tokens that I already, or, or coins that I already had. So um, those coins are already chilling there. Over the last day, and I haven't been running the bot 100%, um, we are down a little bit. But again, some of these positions can, are actually supposed to be held for uh, up to two days. So I'm going to be doing a review again in two days. That way, uh, excuse me, we can go ahead and see. And I might even keep you updated every couple of hours to see how things are going. I currently do have buying disabled, so I will not get into any more positions until I see what these positions do. Um, I It was working very well last night. Uh, this morning, the, the out, everything changes. If, it, if you're, it, depending on what you're trying to do, everything changes. But anyways, so you get hoppers, okay? And you can click in the link down there in the description and actually get a free trial. You don't have to put a credit card in or anything like that. You literally sign up, you get a free trial, you get one hopper, and you can go ahead and start trying this bot to see if it's for you. I tried it. I made enough money to be able to pay. I took some of the Bitcoin that I made and I sent it in Bitcoin and you can pay in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies or you can even pay with a credit card. There's many different payments and payments as low as $20 a month. Is this a way to get rich quick? No, you can lose money on it, but this is actually a way that you can automate your trading. And when you see some coins that are going up or when we're having one of those days where things are rising, you can go ahead and kind of set, uh, your some, set you some perimeters and get some automated trading in. You can click a button and turn your bot off or you can click off the buy and just keep the sell. That way, if you're in some positions and you want to wait to liquidate them, and you can even tell them what to sell it at, uh, what percentage you want, or you can keep it with what's programmed in the bot. You can pick certain coins and decide to hold them. So it's very unique. Uh, all of them, I don't have, let's see, new. If I click on new here, so you, it Bitrix, Binance, Poloniex, uh, GDAX, yes, and Kraken. So there, there are different hoppers. I'm interested in getting the hopper for, uh, for GDAX. Now, here's the thing. You get one hopper for a month for free as a trial. I'm going to start up another one as my free one for GDAX. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay. Oh, you need to, what you'll have to do is you'll put in your API key, your secret key, which I'm not going to do here. And then you'll have uh, API passphrase. I won't actually do this on here because I don't have a test account set up. But then you hit save, click on that, and then it will bring you over to your hoppers right here. And you can name it and be like, this is the GDAX test one. And then when you click on subscriptions, you can assign it. So the bunny trial is on the unsigned one. Watch, we'll do this. We'll click here and we'll change it to... New test hopper. Okay, and then go to subscriptions and then bunny trial. No hopper selected. Unnamed hopper is what it would be at, but that's what it is. There you go. New test hopper. So when you go into your hopper, you go to settings, configure. You can use a configuration wizard. 
um, if you want. But you can go ahead and set for what exchange, Poloniex, Kraken, Bitrix, GDAX, and Binance. This one's going to be GDAX because it's the GDAX. I have it set up for that. <laughs> uh, you can still change your name if you want. This is where you put in your API keys. Uh, I like this because they put little questions. You have a question. It says right here, GDAX post only. It says the post only flag indicates that the order should only make liquidity if any part of the order results in taking liquidity the order will be rejected and no part of it will be executed basically saying that it needs to take it all or none then you can choose your coins now of course gdax doesn't have a lot this is where your subscription comes in if you have the lower 20 dollars subscription you can only pick i believe 10 or 20 coins and then it goes up from there there's a 20 a 50 and a 100 dollar a month subscription and you can get that for each hopper so it's not just you get as many hoppers as you want each hopper is like that now you can go ahead and pick your strategy now there are external signals which i'm going to go over in a different video you can do multiple ta factors easy bollinger bands advanced bollinger bands yeah relative strength index and then fixed rates now uh if you don't know a lot about any of these strategies i suggest that you a always back test because they've got ways to back test but b i also suggest that you read up on some of these strategies because some of these strategies are going to work better at certain times and some are going to work shitty at certain times let's be completely honest and you want to know uh, a, a way to do that too is testing during different markets um you know, read up and learn some and then test, 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 test. So you pick your strategy. You say what percentage of profits you want up to 3%. You can use the tick or the bid, or you always use the last tick. You can pick what percentage above or below the uh, bid you want. If you want, you can do a stop loss. But when it's when uh, ordered, you get stop loss. Your coins will be sold with a loss if they go lower than the percentage configured. The thing is with this is some of these coins just will get a little bit of a shit run and then they'll come back up. Do you really want to sell at a loss? Maybe if it's a coin that you don't know much about or you bought too much of, the bot bought too much of and you just want to get it or it's on its way down and it was just reading the pattern a different way. Something like that, yeah, you can go ahead and have it. But other than that, I, I'm not really keeping any of the, the stop losses activated. Now, you can hold your assets when a new target is the same. So basically, if you're reading and it reads and it does a buy order, and then you're holding it for maybe 30, 40 minutes, and then it reads that same one and does another buy order, you can say, yo, instead of selling this first one when it gets to the 2%, sell it when the second one gets to the 2% because then you're going to make more on that first one. That's basically what it's saying. Auto close all the positions. If you want to close it within a set amount of time, it'll automatically close it even if you're going to have a loss. Open sell time. Basically, when your bot puts in an order uh, for uh, a time to sell, for an uh, order to sell, it's got pick your time on how long you want it to sit there. Standards five minutes. You can have it more. You can have it less. Same thing with the open buys. Then you can pick how many positions you want your bot to have open total. Um, the max percentage open per positions per coin. So basically, you want to enter the position, uh, uh, enter the percentage of open positions you want to have. So for example, if you have a hundred positions and you have a percentage of twenty, then you will split the portfolio over five coins. Um, percentage buys, how much you want to, like the minimum amount of each order and the maximum amount allocated. So if you have a hundred Bitcoin, but you only want the bot trading with one, you can allocate just one or a half of one. Um, and then of course you can get notifications on trades and, and all of that stuff. Then you click save. When you click save, you, it goes right on back to here or you'll go back to here and then you can actually just click on your dashboard to see what you've got going on. I don't have any my hoppers. There we go. Here's the hopper. Oh, and then you've got signals. So here you go. This is it, a basic overview, crypto hopper. We're going to see what my gains are, how far I could get, uh, if it's worth it or if it's not. I mean, $100 a month, even if you're only making 1% to 2% a day, I mean, you, you essentially could cover it. 
if depending on what what amount you're starting with so like and subscribe click on the bell for post notifications crypto talk that news quick crypto update and product review crypto hopper click the link in the description it is an affiliate link if you want to go check it out you get one month for free you don't even have to enter a credit card and if you use the affiliate link hey